Let's begin by talking about the issue of education. You guys put a big proposal on the board this week. Let's show this to you. Uh, it is a $6.6 .6 billion plan to help reopen schools for in-person learning. It sets a date of April 15th as a date for schools in the red tier to reopen. That red tier is when an area has seven cases per 100,000. Some critics say this doesn't go far enough. Mr. Speaker, why is this plan the best plan forward? Well, this is the best plan forward because it helps to get kids in, in the classroom as soon as possible. It also helps to, to make sure that uh, that it's done so safely. It also focuses on kid, those kids who are most in need, uh, kids with IEP, homeless, foster youth kids, kids lacking in technology or, or risk it, uh, of abuse at home. You know, originally this was being negotiated with the governor. Now he's threatening to veto this plan. He wants the case rate for reopening an area to be 25 per 100,000 instead of 7 per 100,000. I want to play you what he said about your plan and then let you respond afterwards. Here's the governor. We are using data. We're using science, WHO, Harvard University, that 25 case per threshold. We're using the lived experience in almost every other state in this country. We would be, if we adopted that proposal, an extreme outlier. And the only cohort that they're requiring go back, it's on April 15th. That's almost near the end of the school year. And those are for special need kids. I want to get our special need kids back in school sooner than two months. Senator, your response to the governor. Doesn't mean they can't go back sooner. We are just uh, putting a date there by which uh, schools should have a plan uh, to go back. Uh, a number of uh, districts have already reopened. Uh, we haven't said they couldn't. Uh, I think we're just listening to all of the stakeholders, whether it's parents, administrators, uh, teachers, uh, you know, in terms of trying to craft something that does exactly what the speaker says, gets kids back to school as quickly as we can, but also as safely as we can, keeping in mind all of the comments that we have uh, filtered through our hearing process for the last month. Mr. Speaker, where are the, the breakdown with the governor? Because we know you, you were negotiating in good faith with him earlier this week. Um, well, we, we were and we're continuing to talk to the governor. The pro tem and I spoke to the, to the governor yesterday. I, you know, some of the things that the governor said are, you know, in, it, within those short sound bites or maybe, uh, maybe a, a little more explanation is needed. As the pro tem said, April 15th is the, the uh, maximum deadline. That's the last day for kids to go back, not the first day. And it's also important to keep in mind that you know, Los Angeles Unified School District is supportive of this, of this proposal. San Diego Unified, Fresno, Oakland, Long Beach, six of the largest school districts in the state are in support of this plan. I was talking to my Republican counterpart today on the phone. It's widespread support among Republicans for this proposal as well.